Hi everyone, it is March 28, 2016. Well, this video is prompted by a comment that I just received. Good afternoon, Carol. We have a critical issue at hand. And I, no, I am not the leader. Uh, but Americans do need to know 30 to 40,000 immigrants are heading our way. Yeah. Well, first, let me start with this. This just in, I didn't know, March 12th, signed without comment a bill. Oh my God, a land grab. Trump, he campaigned on stopping those land grabs. You know, the Obama land grabs. And now he has signed a bill, the huge wilderness bill. It continues. Bipartisan Clinton, Bush, Obama, war on the West. Trump's right in there. Same old, same old. Signed the nation's largest wilderness preservation legislation in a decade. What does this have to do with immigration or migration or illegal crossing of the border? It's all United Nations driven. driven. Agenda 2030. Two years, I've shown. The infrastructure bill, Trump's infrastructure plan, Agenda 2030. Trump's appointments to federal agencies, all with Agenda 2030. They're all implementing the United Nations plan to reshape not just this country, but uh, all countries reshape the world. For the sick, twisted, wealthy elite like Trump. He, he, oh, he's an outsider, Carol. Oh, he signed a massive package of public lands legislation rolling together 100 individual bills of pet projects of 50 U.S. Senate and House members. They sure do know how to get the job done. They all come together. Isn't it interesting? They fight like hell. You know, Democrats, Republicans, oh my God. And then they all come together when they have an agenda under the umbrella of the United Nations. Um, so, designated 375 100,000 new acres of wilderness across Utah, California, New Mexico, Oregon. Newly enacted legislation provides a grab bag of goodies for just about everyone with new and expanded national parks, scenic areas, wild and scenic rivers and scenic trails, historical sites, heritage areas, mon monuments and battlefields, and much more in Georgia, Tennessee, Missouri, Arizona, Mississippi, Alaska, New York, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, South Dakota, South Carolina, and other states. <laughs> I, yeah, oh, quote unquote, awake Trump supporters, man. You got something going on in your brain that you refuse to see. The mountains of evidence that this guy is making you a complete and utter fool. Bill, the bill, which prohibits logging, mining, drilling, road construction, and other activities on hundreds of thousands of acres of newly designated public lands conflicts sharply with the pledges by candidate Trump to reverse the trend of these federal land grabs that were going on during the Clinton, Bush, Obama years locking up our natural resources and restricting human access to public lands. Those of you who are knowledgeable about Agenda 2030, get it. You got it already. You know what's happening here. Those of you who are not, get up to speed. 2016. In 2016, the federal government already owned, at that time, 640 million acres of public lands 
most concentrated in the 12 western states, Alaska, Washington, Nevada, Utah, Oregon, Idaho, Arizona, California, Wyoming, New Mexico, Montana, and Colorado. You want to know how much land? Nevada, the federal government, owns, according to the federal government, 84.5% of Nevada. Alaska, 69.1%. Utah, 57.4%. Oregon, 53.1%. Idaho, 50.2%. Arizona, 41.1%. California, 45.3%. Wyoming, 42.4%. New Mexico, 41.8%. Colorado, 36.6%. Washington, 30.3%. Montana, 29.9%. Wow! A whole lot of your states, the federal government has usurped. How could they have done that? Because your state, your governor, governors, your state legislators are not protecting that land. Founders never intended the national government to exercise permanent ownership or control over these uh, huge expanses. We don't see the federal imprint on the states of the eastern seaboard. Well, it would be a lot harder because the seaboard, eastern, is uh, not like the west in terms of the land in these states that is open with no uh, construction on it, but they want to make sure that there is nothing on it. Because while this, these who are, well, the Sahara Club, <laughs> when the Sahara Club is praising Trump for signing this, you know something's very wrong. Sahara Club is very, uh, yeah, it's the United Nations. It's under the wing of the United Nations. And they are implementing Agenda 2030. So what did the Sahara Club say? Today, the U.S. Senate overwhelmingly passed the Natural Resources Management Act. The bill establishes permanent reauthorization of the Land and Water Conservation Fund. Public lands are among the nation's greatest treasures, and we are pleased to see that there is strong bipartisan support to protect these important outdoor spaces so they can be enjoyed and explored for generations. And guess what? You're not going to be enjoying or exploring anything because you will be in a smart city and you will not be able to travel. That is what is coming. Yeah, the bill takes historic steps forward in protecting and investing in our public lands. This bill, the most encompassing federal wilderness law passed in the U.S. since March 2009. Sorry, Trump supporters. You're making a fool of yourself now. Well, it's all connected to Agenda 2030. The open borders, the migrants, the crisis, the migrant crisis, a caravan again coming through Mexico, only this time the Mexicans are getting a little tired of these caravans. But I posted videos, proof United Nations driving migration in Western countries. Rothschild, Rockefeller funded it. Uh, Border Patrol agent caravan contrived and evidence of U.S., U.N., NGOs, Red Cross, and other organizations involved. They are telling people in Guatemala, in Honduras, in Nicaragua, in, uh, in Mexico, come, come. 
They have people going down to these countries telling people, come, and we will foot the bill for your life in the United States. Oh, hard to comprehend that that could be happening. It may be hard, but you better comprehend it because that is exactly what's taking place and Trump is part of it. Yes, of course, build that wall, build that wall. Uh, the intelligent guy completely exposing globalist secrets is a CFR globalist. All right. All of this is going towards the new world order for the elite. Oh, the elite disgusting scumbags, which is also Trump so that they can reshape the world for their fancy and stick all of us in mega regions where you will not be able to leave your mega region. And I've done this so many times. So yeah, they want to move people out of areas. They do it by using weather as a weapon. Look at all of the flooding uh, that has happened throughout the years. Massive, massive flooding. Missouri, Nebraska, uh, South Dakota, all of these areas, they do not want you there. Let me pull up the map. Here are your mega regions. America 2050. And by 2050, guarantee you, they will have created the reshaping of the United States. They are moving people out of areas deliberately. They use fires, California. They use flooding, uh, Nebraska and all of these states, Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota. They want all of the people out of the gray zone and into these mega regions. Arizona, Sun Corridor, uh, Texas Triangle, Gulf Coast, Great Lakes, Piedmont Atlantic, get you off the coast, uh, and the Northeast. All of the other areas, you will not see humans. And they use climate change. Uh, you know, there, there are so many deceptions going on. We are saturated in lies. So yes, uh, this is why presidents are handing over to actually the United Nations lands in the United States. Biodiversity lands, they become. All you have to do is a little bit of research to find out. And I posted this video, United Nations encouraged study doping Western people with oxytocin promotes acceptance of migrants. Wow, only 1,100 views. I have to wonder if they have doped a whole lot of citizens in Western countries who are rah-rah. I don't want borders. I want to welcome in all of these migrants. They, they're, it, what we are living is unprecedented. All right, so Trump administration renews temporary amnesty for over 300,000 foreign nationals. Border is virtually wide open. In 90 days, Department of Homeland Security looses 100,000 illegals upon unsuspecting Americans. March 28. As another migrant caravan approaches, Trump revives the threat to close the southern border. Didn't he put the military down there to stop the migrants from coming in? 
oh, well, Carol, you know, there's only so much you can do. We can enforce our immigration laws. How about that? Carol, that's just too simple. This is a very complicated issue. Well, this, these articles just within the last, I think the last week, this is two hours ago, U.S.-Mexico border official says migrant crisis at breaking point. At breaking point. Department of Homeland Security releases 84,000, 84 and a half thousand border crossers, illegal aliens into the United States in two months. In two weeks, it was 24,000. And, oh my God. Texas, McAllen bus station packed with illegals as the Border Patrol releases migrants with court dates. Is this Texas or Arizona? No, Texas. And you can watch the video. Department of Homeland Security data shows growing surge of migrants at border under Trump. Uh, ICE. ICE, too, is releasing illegal immigrants into our country. Releases 1,000 illegal immigrant family members a day. Yeah, it's a crisis. It's a big crisis. Department of Homeland Security to release 1.8 thousand border crossers into the United States over a weekend. March 21. Texas, Arizona, you are being flooded. Flooded. U.S. government, let's see. Border Patrol says detention centers are full and starts releasing migrants. March 20. ICE Union thousands of illegal aliens are being released into the United States with catch and release in overdrive under Trump. Study shows migrants use almost twice the welfare benefits as native born Americans. The benefits you are paying with your tax dollars. This is deliberate. It still continues under Trump. More and more illegal aliens are coming into this country. And there is not much Americans can do about it except pay for their free ride as Americans continue to struggle more and more every day financially. So hundreds of agents, this posted just yesterday, hundreds of agents will be pulled from ports of entry to help El Paso Border Patrol process undocumented immigrants. It's not his fault. That's what I'm going to hear from Trump supporters. It's not his fault. We could protect our border as we did years and years ago. You're not understanding this is deliberate. You are not understanding that these people are being told in their countries because the United Nations and, and representatives of our government go into these countries and get those caravans started. I have videos with the evidence pointing out the fact of what I just said. They're told, come, and we will pay for your housing and medical care and your child's education. And hell, colleges now, our uh, Department of Education are allowing loans for illegal aliens for their college. Not loans, I'm sorry. Financial aid. Look, if Americans cannot get that this is deliberate, I do. 
this is just going to continue and continue. And the Trump supporters are going to be making excuses for Trump as more and more and more illegals are coming and flooding not just Texas and Arizona. Oh, that's where their first stop is. They're being brought all over the country. And what do we have? Churches. Oh, the churches. A local Mesa pastor is making a desperate call for help for migrant families getting dropped off at bus stations by ICE. She's asking Governor Doug Ducey and Phoenix officials to step up and help provide food and shelter for them. Team 12's you know how many homeless Americans we have in this country? Do you ever hear any reporting like this for our homeless Americans? No. You do hear it for the migrants. Now, I want to end with this. It is not the fault of these migrants who are crossing the border. They are uh, the pawns. And if, let's say I was living in Guatemala or Honduras or Nicaragua and I had some children and I heard from someone who said, your children will have a better life if you just join this caravan, I would be in that caravan. And all of you would be. It is the fault of the United Nations, of the treasonous, psychopathic pigs we have, like Trump, and all of our mainstream more media reporting the lies. That's where the fault lies, not with the migrants. So we are fools. And the fault lies really with the American people who never want to know the truth. The fault really lies with those who say, welcome, welcome. We should have no borders. We should just allow everybody who is fleeing the circumstances in their country to come and have a better life here. They're at fault. They're bringing down. They're destroying this country. Not because the migrants have brown skin. Nothing to do with that. The flooding of illegal immigrants who are supplied, provided tremendous amount of benefits that cost money that Americans no longer have. It hurts our economy. And that's also one of the reasons why this continues. They are destroying the economy because, you know, the United Nations Agenda 2030, one of the goals is we've got to eradicate poverty. How are they doing that? By bringing everyone down to an impoverished level. Equalizing poverty is how they are eradicating it. So our standard of living goes down by flooding the country with an awful lot of illegals who get benefits. Look, you're hearing frustration because everything is so obvious now. So, I will link below to it all. Yes, we have a whole lot of illegals brought into the country, dropped off in bus stations, circulating around the United States under Trump. 